hi viewers greetings in this video we are going to discuss metallurgy metallurgy deals with the various chemical and physical processes involved in the extraction of metals from their ores ores are the compounds of metals Uh, this is present form of the periodic table in which the elements are filled up to 7th period. The present form of periodic table contains 118 elements. Of this, 18 are non-metals including hydrogen, 6 are metalloids namely boron, silicon, germanium, arsenic, antimony, tellurium and the remaining 94 elements are metals. This classification is based on the physical and chemical properties of elements. Normally metals are lustrous or shiny, malleable and ductile. They are good conductors of heat and electricity. Besides this, the metals are electropositive, that is, they have the tendency to lose electrons and acquire positive charge. For example, group 1 elements, namely lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium, they have the tendency to lose one electron and acquire monopositive charge. Similarly, group 2 elements, beryllium 2, radium have the tendency to lose two electrons and acquire a dipositive charge. Both in lithium and beryllium, the electron lost is in the second cell. From lithium, one electron is lost from the second cell, whereas in beryllium, two electrons are lost from second cell. If we take the nucleus of these two atoms, nucleus of these two atoms, the lithium atom has three protons in its nucleus whereas the beryllium has four protons in its nucleus. So when we move from lithium to beryllium the effective nuclear charge increases and hence the nucleus holds the electrons in the valence cell with strong attractive force. And thus it is difficult to remove electrons from beryllium compared to lithium that is removing electrons from the valence cell of beryllium is a little bit difficult compared to remo removing electron from the valence cell of lithium in other words we can say that lithium can become easily partially charged compared to beryllium or lithium is more electro positive than beryllium so when we move left to right in any period the effective nuclear charge increases and hence the removal of electron becomes tough so the electropositive character of the elements decreases on the other hand if we move down a group uh, the newly added electrons are in the next energy level so the distance between the nucleus and the outermost electron increases uh, the attractive force between nucleus and the valence electron decreases so the removal of electron becomes easy so the electropositive nature increases as we move down a group thus when we move from lithium to francium the electropositive nature increases and similarly when we move from beryllium to radium electropositive nature increases but when we move from lithium to beryllium electropositive nature decreases the same trend we cannot predict for D block elements. There are some exemptions in D block elements. So when a metal loses the electron easily, we can say that it is highly reactive or its activity is high. So based on the electropositive nature of the metallic elements, we can predict an activity series. So this is an activity series of metals based on their electropositive nature. So here the most reactive metal is at the top 
the least reactive metal is at the bottom on the other hand the non metals are electronegative that is they have the tendency to add electrons and hence to become negatively charged ions thus electro positive metallic elements can combine with electronegative non metals to form compounds in nature the metallic elements are found with certain non metals in the form of their compounds mostly the group 16 elements uh, which are electronegative form compounds with metals and thus these compounds are called chalcogens chalco means ore gen means generators ore generators these elements generate the ores of the metallic elements here we shall discuss metallurgy in three parts first terminology used in metallurgy then where is steps involved in the metallurgical processes or procedure for extraction of metal from its ore and then application of ellingham diagram in metallurgy so in this video we shall discuss first the terminology used in metallurgy so first minerals minerals are nothing but the compounds of the metal from which it can be extracted most of the minerals are sulfides and oxides of the metallic elements next ores ores are nothing but minerals from which the metallic elements can be extracted conveniently and economically a metallic element can have many minerals where all the minerals are not ores but all the ores are minerals otherwise we can say that ores are the minerals from which the metals can be extracted in large amount in a profitable manner based on the availability and the percentage of metal in the min in a compound or mineral it can be considered as ore for example the minerals of iron element are given here let us calculate the percentage of iron in each mineral in hematite the percentage of iron is 69.94 so here 117 111.7 is the weight of iron and 159.7 is molecular weight of ferric oxide then in magnetite the percentage of iron is 72.3 in siderite that is in siderite that is in ferrous carbonate the percentage of iron is 48.2 in iron pyrite the percentage of iron is 46.6 in limonite the percentage of iron is 52.27 so from this it is clear that the magnetite contains a large amount of iron but the principal ore of iron is hematite the reason is it exists in large amount its availability is high compared to magnetite so the principal ore of iron is hematite nuggets few metals in the earth crust are found in native form namely copper silver gold and platinum these metals are called noble metals when these metals are found in large amounts or in lumps then the lump of lumps of these metals is called nuggets usually these metals are associated with the alluvial impurities such as clay and sand next gang gang is nothing but the impurities associated with the ores
then matrix the impurities of other metal ions associated with the ore is called matrix then flux so next flux flux is the substance that forms fusible slag with the gunk so when flux is added to the gunk it forms a fusible impurity generally the flux is added to remove impurities from the ore so the substance which easily forms fusible slag with gunk is called flux then slag what is slag uh, the waste material formed by the combination of gunk and flux is called slag it is a fusible waste material so in this video we had discussed the terminology of metallurgy in the next video we shall discuss the procedure for extraction of metal or the various steps involved in the extraction of a metal if you like this video you can share with your friends if you like to provide any useful suggestions contact us in the email id is given or through the whatsapp number 9486377825